practice. Uh, let's begin by coming to a cross-legged or kneeling position, some form of seated posture that you feel comfortable in to be able to uh, sit for a few moments uh, through breathwork, meditation and philosophy before we begin to build the practice um, towards some um, twisting and some uh, arm balance variations. Let's close down the eyes. As you close the eyes, you start to notice the darkness that falls upon you and in doing so, you start to connect to the breathing. You feel the breath enter in through the nose. And just take a gentle sigh out the mouth as you purge the breath. And then we breathe in through the nose now. And we exhale back through the nose. Now I invite you just to explore your breath. Be curious with it as you start to self-navigate and consciously shape your own breath. So the yogis of old, they had something maybe that we didn't have. They have more time to explore the practice, to play with the curiosity of how the breath makes them feel and something that they may have discovered in doing so is that if they extended their inhalation longer than their exhalation that this would uplift them and this would energize them it would activate them and maybe they didn't have the wording or the language that we have around these subjects but this extended inhalation connects us to our sympathetic nervous system which immobilizes uh, lots of energy around the body and so they probably as they discovered this decided well, what happens if we start to extend our exhalation longer than our inhalation and what they found was that this started to support and activate the parasympathetic nervous system our rest and digest response so this would make them more peaceful more calm full or enabling them to be able to take rest, to let their mind pacify. And so we have the capacity to balance both hemispheres of the brain and the nervous system as well by creating an equal and even inhalation and exhalation. And they also maybe notice that by shifting the breath from breathing from just the left nostril breathing or the right nostril breathing would do the same thing. So the left nostril connects us to Ida Nadi, so the feminine channel, which is connected to the parasympathetic nervous system, so that pacifying, creative, intuitive, softening um, a side of the, the nervous system and brain. But also it connects us uh, to this, this lunar energy, the, the cooling energy of the moon. And then we have the solar energy, the sun energy or the masculine energy, which is on the right nostril. So when we right nostril breathe, it energizes us and supports that um, sympathetic nervous system function. So as you move through your practice today, I invite you to get curious about your breath. Notice how when you follow the breath, you can change the feeling in the body, the feeling of the muscles, the feeling of the tension that you're harboring but you can also follow that breath down into your heart space and there's a Norwegian proverb that says um, even in the darkness the hand can still find its way to the mouth and what this means is that even though the, the, the clouds can thicken the sun will still pour its light down on earth and the lungs will still breathe that everything breath in and out no matter what is happening the heart still pumps blood around our body it still beats continuously no matter our struggles so no matter how dark our times get we have this calling in our heart we have this being 
uh, this aliveness, these reflexes that keep us living. And they emanate out of the heart. And although the heart can not cure or resolve our struggles, it still knows the way. It still has uh, a beacon, a compass that guides it continuously, just as the hand of the darkness can always find its way to the mouth. So as you now take your hands together, bring the hands to the lips. And just notice that even with the eyes closed, even in your darkness, you'll always be able to feed yourself. But likewise, the hands can also make their way into the heart space as you move your hands to the center of your chest, knowing that your heart always knows the way, that it always knows how to feed its soul. And together we'll take an exhalation. And then take a big breath in now that the mind is very present in your body and your practice you can gently start to soften the gaze towards the earth and make your way back into a wide leg child's pose please The toes will come together, the knees slightly apart, and just watch that you're not collapsing through the lower back. Keep the forehead grounded down, the palms lengthen forward. And as you inhale, you feel the buttocks ground back towards the heels. And as you exhale, you smooth the heart towards the hands. Take an inhalation. Grip the toes and exhale, move the side body towards the palm. And one more here, inhale, feeling into the pulsation of breath, rippling through the spine. And then inhale, make your way up to your hands and knees. The knees can come underneath the hips, the hands under the shoulders. And inhale, peel the heart forward and up. Then round the spine, chin to chest, lift the back of the heart space. Gaze forward and up, inhale. And then exhale round, hug the arms in, lift the back of the heart, belly to back. And then inhale, start to stretch yourself out to plank, tucking the toes and driving back through the heels for one. And then watch that the lower back isn't dumping. Start to lift the lower back and stretch the heart through the gate of the arms. Two, wrap the triceps in. Three, lower the knees to the floor, inhale high up. Lower chest and chin, exhale, Ashtanga Namaskara. Point the toes, lift the heart forward for Cobra, breathe in. Take child's pose, exhale, stretch the spine back. Inhale, come through upward dog now. So round your spine through cat, let the hips sink forward and then engage the knees to lift the thighs. And then take downward facing dog, exhale. Ground the palms, anchor the heels back, and keep a slight softening in the knee line for one. Lift the inner arm forward and the inner leg presses back, two. Fill the outer shoulders in, and grow through the crown of the head, three. And let the eyes rest between the inner ankle to support the length of your neck, four. Then firm the inner ankle out with the outer thighs firm in. Five. Let's walk our hands backwards to our toes. Soften the knees, catch the elbow creases, and just hang over the legs for a moment, releasing the lower back. And then just start a gentle sway as you shift weight from one side to the other. And as you do, let the elbows start to make their way across to each shin as you sway and then as you start to move over to the right hand side let the right elbow tip towards the shin line the left side body opens up and then as you move over to the left the left knee makes its way closer to the shin and the right elbow opens up 
and you continue to sway in this motion. And as you come over to the right side again, you'll start to firm your left hip back, pressing the left leg longer. And as you move to the left, firm your right hip back, open the right side body more. And just start to create a little more space on either side. And then starting to slow that sway back through center, releasing the palms to the earth. Walking forward to plank now as you breathe in. Hands stack underneath the shoulders. And then exhale through chaturanga, bending at the elbows. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Ground the left foot, inhale, right leg sweeps high. Take foot to buttocks and exhale, open out your hip. Send the right leg long, breathe in. Take right knee to left elbow, cross body. Inhale, lift the right leg high. And take it across again to that left elbow, exhale. Right leg reaches back, three leg dog. And then come all the way to that left elbow, exhale. Inhale, bring the knee to the nose. Exhale, step through, turn the back foot down. Arms up, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, release the hands, step back to chaturanga. The heart stays forward between the hands, bend at the elbows. Up dog, grip the toes, stretch the hips open. Down dog, chin, ribs, then hips. Left leg high, breathe in, reach the left leg to the sky, grounding the right heel, take foot to buttocks and exhale, open out the hip. Stretch the left leg long, breathe in. And then take left knee to right elbow, cross body. Inhale, left leg lifts all the way up. And exhale, left knee, right elbow. All the way back up. And last one, exhale, left knee, right elbow. Knee to nose, inhale. Step through, anchor the back foot down. Arms come up, breathe in. Warrior one, Vibhadrasana one. And then lift the heels, square the pelvis, exhale, step back. Keep the buttocks level as you lower chaturanga. Up dog, inhale, firm the inner hand, plug the chest. Down dog, exhale, take it back. Walk the hands back to your toes. Catch the toes and inhale, lengthen. Draw yourself in, Kadivasasana, exhale. One. Two, broadening the elbow tips, pulling the shoulders from the jawline. Three, the inner leg pulls back, crown reaches to the earth. Four, breathe, find the breath. Be curious with it. Five. Half lift, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, walk forward to plank. Knees to floor, inhale, chest up. Chest and chin, exhale, Ashtanga Namaskara. Cobra, inhale. Point the toes, engage the thighs, roll the shoulder heads back. Child's pose, exhale, scoot the belly. Keep the fingers reaching forward, upward dog, round the spine and let the hips sink through, engage the thighs. Downward facing dog, exhale, scoop it back. Take the right leg high, breathe in. Foot to buttocks, exhale, open that right hip. Lengthen right leg, breathe in. Right knee, left elbow, exhale, pause. Kick to the left hand side as you inhale. Pivot the back foot down, and then exhale, send the left arm forward. Lower the buttocks to the mat, breathe in. You're at 90 degrees now, left hand down, right arm over, exhale. Open through the chest, lift back up, right hand anchors down. Inhale, lift the chest up. And then exhale, plant your left hand down. We're going to stay here, hands ground, back heel lifts up, and the right foot stays connected on the left side of your mat. Then pull your right hip back and stretch your chest through the gate of the arms. One, so you're getting longer through your right side body. Two, 
Try not to let the hips sag. Three, knee to nose, inhale, lift up. Step through, exhale, turn the back foot down. Ribs lift off your thigh first, so you protect your lower back. Then rise up, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, open, widen the stance, warrior two. Now let's hold here for one. Make sure that the knee is moving towards the right side and the right heel is swiveling in to stabilize into the glute. Two. Thighs parallel with the floor, the frontal hips lift and the tailbone descends straight down. Three, and then you broaden out through the chest. Four. Follow the breath. Five, reverse the warrior, inhale, reach the right arm overhead, breathe in. And then exhale, trikonasana, shorten the stance, triangle pose. One. Firm your thighs. Two, you want to wrap the right hip under so that your knee tracks your toes. Three, and then get longer through your right side body. Ribs in, turn the chest. Four, look into that top palm. Five, then bend the knee, inhale, reverse the warrior again. Left knee bends Skandasana to the back of your mat. Good. Turn to your left knee now, so you're facing the back of your mat. Breathe in. Straighten the left leg, exhale, fold forward. Bend the knee again, inhale, flood the chest. Exhale, straight and fold for two. Scissor your inner thigh line. And again, inhale, pulse the heart through. And then squeeze the heel back towards you as you fold. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, drop the back knee to the floor. Take the arms up, inhale. And then exhale, prayer twist, right elbow to left knee, ring out the spine. From here, you can stay with the knee down, or those who want to can lift the knee. And those who want to spread their arms can start to expand across the chest. One. And then we want to make sure that we're not collapsing through the right hip. We're going to pull the right hip up and get longer through the right side, sorry, left side body. Two. If you want to take full variation, the back heel anchors down and the arm goes forward. Three as an option. Four, four, but can you get free with the breath? Are you breathing steady with ease? Five, release the palms, inhale. Exhale, drop the back knee down, Ardha Hanumanasana, straighten the left leg. Fold forward here and hold. So you're pulling the left heel back and bringing the right shin forward. One. What so you're not sitting back on your heel? Keep that left leg out in front so that your hips align over your right leg. Two. Three. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, slide through Hanumanasana splits. Even the breath. If you've got props, you can always prop yourself up under the left hip. Either stay here or fold forward now. One. Two. Three. Steady focus, gazing to the big toe. Four. Five, take a half lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands. Slide the left leg back, breathe in. Good. Exhale, turn to the right side of your mat. Then from here, lifting the left, oh, sorry, the right arm up, planting the left hand down. Take the right hand underneath, exhale, finding that left foot. Send the left arm up to the sky and find the thread behind your back into your right thigh bone. One. Two.
three. Roll the left arm open, breathe in, push down through the right arm more. Then exhale, left hand finds its way under the shoulder and stabilize the left scapula. Press down, right arm up, breathe in. And then exhale, release. Walk to the right side of your mat as you inhale. Keep the right knee grounded. And then from here, chest and chin, exhale, lift the left leg up. Hold here, you can tuck the toe and you can elevate the right leg if you want to. One, otherwise keep the right knee down. Two, Three, back up, breathe in. Exhale, extend your right arm. Then bend the left knee, catch the left foot, inhale, and kick the left foot to the sky. Tiger pose, one. Two. Three, straighten arm and leg, breathe in. Exhale, return to the floor. Inhale, tuck the toes, bother the knees an inch off your mat. Pause for one. Wake up the core. Two. Three. Tap down, inhale. Push back, down facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Foot to buttocks and exhale, peel your hip open. Paint the sky with that left foot. Inhale, long brush stroke. And then exhale, take left knee to right elbow. Kick out to the right side, breathe in, and then turn the back foot down. Right arm reaches forward. Exhale, open the side body. Stabilize the left shoulder, and inhale, lower the hands at the buttocks to the earth. Right arm down on the inner leg, and then exhale, fan your left arm over to the right foot. Inhale, lift all the way back up. And then exhale, open through that right arm again. Hips high, fall and triangle. Right hand comes down and pivot the back foot up now as you take a breath in. You keep your left foot here. You pull your left hip back and you stretch your left ribs forward. Get long through your left side body, one. Squeeze the inner thigh. Two, wake up the right leg. Three, then knee to nose, inhale, hike the back body up. Step through heel toe placement if you can, and the back foot anchors. Warrior one, inhale, rise up. Open warrior two, get longer in the back foot, deepen the stance and hold now. Lift the frontal hip bones, contain the rib cage. Two, and then spread through the arms and turn at the neck. Three, free the breath. Four, gazes at the middle finger at the front. Five, then straighten the left leg, shorten the stance, breathe in. Exhale, triangle pose, trikonasana. Gaze up. One, then lift out of your left shoulder and lift the left ear off of your left arm. Two, drive into the free feet and lift your inner thighs now, muscle to bone. Three, micro bend the left knee, we're not locking out our joint. Four. Five, bend the left knee, inhale, reverse the warrior, scoop the left arm back. Then bend right knee to the back of your mat, exhale, skandasana. Turn to the right side, inhale, to the back of your mat again. And then straighten through that right leg, exhale, bow forward. Inhale, bend the knee, flood the chest, sink the hip. Exhale, squeeze the heel in, you fold, scissor the legs. Pull the heel towards you as you inhale, one more. And then exhale, firming the hip back as the chest heels fold. Inhale, bend to the front knee. Drop the back knee to the floor, exhale. Lift the arms up, breathe in. And then take prayer twist, left elbow to right knee. Option to stay here, option to lift the back knee, 
or you can take the left hand to the floor, lift the arm, or full variation, back ankle down, right arm forward. Two, three, firm the left palm to the mat if the arms are spread. Four, watch the left hip collapsing. Keep lifting the hips flat at the back and connecting the arm and knee to leverage your heart around. Four, get long through your right side. Five, hands to floor, frame the foot, breathe in. Exhale, drop the back knee to the floor and straighten through that right leg. One, move the heart through to the toe. Two, the right heel tractions back towards your right hip. Three, the left thigh wraps towards your right knee. Four, five, lift the chest, inhale. Either stay here or come all the way through as far as you can for Hanumanasana splits. Take the right foot, breathe in, and then fold forward, forward, exhale. Those who combine, the right hand takes the left wrist. One, Two, three, spiral the little toe at the back to the mat. Pull your right hip back, four, five. Half lift, inhale, squeeze the thigh. And then exhale, lift yourself up. We'll pull the right foot back in halfway, inhale. And then turn out to the left hand side, sideways on your mat. So now the right foot and the left knee stack in line and the left foot kicks off behind your buttocks. Right hand down, left arm reaches to the sky, big breath in. Thread the needle, take the left hand past the right wrist and rest the shoulder by the thumb. Inhale, the right arm to the sky. And then wrap around and find your left thigh. Push down, stronger through the left arm, one, to create more of a twist. Two, right shoulder peels open. Three. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Right hand to the mat under the shoulder. Exhale, stabilize the right scapula. Lift, inhale, left arm to the sky. And then exhale, release to the floor. Walk to the front of your mat again, over towards the left knee. Keeping that left knee bent, the right arm back, uh, right leg back. Exhale, bend knees, chest and chin. Option to stay here or lift your left leg off the floor. One. Two, the throat opens. Three, pull the lower belly in, the pelvic floor lifts. Inhale, back up. Good, release the left toe and then exhale, float left arm up. Bend the knee, breathe in, catch the foot. And then kick that right leg up to the sky. One, make sure your right hand is directly under your shoulder for balance. Two, pull your left hip back, get long through your left side again. Three, then slowly extend the arm and leg. Breathe in, release to the earth, exhale. Inhale, lift the knees, hover. Push back down the dog, exhale. Then inhale, come up to your tippy toes. Prepare your arms and exhale, soft knee bend. We're gonna bunny hop to the front. If you can take a little tap handstand, hover and handstand before lower. Jump to the front when you're ready. And then lower the toes, inhale, lengthen. Fold in, exhale. Bend your knees for chair, Utkatasana, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart space. Hold, inhale, come up onto your tippy toes. One. Two. Three, earth the heels, lift the arms, breathe in. Get lower, then take prayer twist, left elbow to right knee. One, look over the right shoulder. 
drive the right hand down. Two, if you need to, just check that your knees are level and that the left knee isn't slipping forward. Three, come up to centre, breathe in. We're going to the other side, get the buttocks low, right elbow to left knee, look over the left shoulder, one. Right hip pulls back and the side bodies get long. Two, then shrug your shoulders down your back and broaden your chest like cobra. Three, back to centre, inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart, sit in the fire. Inhale, heels elevate, and then we're going to tippy toe descent our way down to the earth. Exhale. Good job. Inhale now, turn towards your right hand side, and you hook your left elbow onto your right knee. Now you can either take prayer twist here, and you can happily stay here. You can always sit down onto your heels and put a block under your bum if you need to as well. Or you can start to connect your hands to the side of your mat and hook your knee up around your left elbow. I'm actually going to come off my mat to have a little more room. And I'm going to grip my fingertips so the knees stay pointing forward. My body turns like a chair twist. And I place my hands down so the heel of a hand aligns with my mat. Then the shoulders position over the fingertips and I lift my buttocks and bring my heart forward to lift my feet up. I actually have to lift my feet. So I work my inner thigh to pull up rather than just trying to lift my bum higher and higher. The other little, little crutch method you can have is use your, your hip as a little crutch for now to help get more support. And those who are comfortable, stretch both legs forward. Two, three, three, four, five. Start to bend the knees and then come back through centre. We're coming over to the other side. So, hands will come out to the left hand side. The right elbow hooks into your left knee. Twist to the left hand side and then plant your hands down level with the side of your mat. Grip your fingertips, lift your buttocks and lean into your arms by squeezing your arms to centre. Little tip here, if your elbows start to flare out and you start to lose, lose the support, put a strap around your elbow so that your arms can't open up. One, get practicing. Two, three, keep breathing. Be curious of your breath. Four, five, bend the knees, come back to center. Good job, we're rolling back into boat now. Lower the buttocks, inhale, lift the hips. Uh, sorry, lift the feet, ground the hips. One, hold. Two, three, take a breath in, lower halfway, down into Ardha Navasana Boat Pose. One, two, three, bring right knee to chest, inhale. One, lift the chest up. Two, shoulders down the back. Three, take the right ankle, lengthen the leg to split. One, two, three, hook the thumbs overhead, release the head, but keep the legs as they are. And then exhale, curl up across your right leg to the outside. One, breathe. Two, work the legs across, scissor the inner thighs. Three, inhale, hug the knee to the chest, release your head down. Lower the left ankle if it's not already, and then twist your spine. Right knee goes to the left side, buttock shuffles backwards, and then release your left shoulder blade. One, reach back into that right arm, now take rest. Two, discover the breath, slow. Three, restore that nervous system. Four, follow the heart. Five, it knows the way. Inhale, bring the right knee into the chest. And then exhale, release the right leg. Bring the left knee into the chest. 
Exhale, curl the forehead up and float the right leg off the floor for one. Two, keep elevating the heart that's descending the shoulders down the back. Three, then keep the legs elevated and start to lengthen your left leg into splits. One, two, three. Then hook the thumbs, keep the legs as they are. Rest the head and reach overhead like a split handstand. And then on the exhale, curl up across to your left side. Now scissor the inner thighs, move into the obliques. One, three, keep twisting. Two, press out through the balls of the feet. Three, hug the knee into the chest as you release the head and the right leg down. And then exhale, take that left knee across your body to the right, shimmy your buttocks backwards, free the right shoulder blade, and twist, looking over to the left side. One, be curious of the breath. Notice if it's getting restricted anywhere. Two, three, use the left hand to pull you out of your chest, four. Five. Inhale, bring the left knee back to center. And exhale, release the left leg long. Take both arms over the head, breathe in. Then bring the chin to the chest and slowly exhale your way up. Catch the toes, breathe in, or the blade edges. Or use a strap, especially if your back is tight and your hamstrings are tight. Bend your knees a little bit so that you can lift your sternum over the knees. Then fold from here with bent knees, working your legs along, rather than just constantly hunching from your upper back. And just notice the difference from day to day. Sometimes the body feels tighter than others. not every day that our body might feel free and spacious. So don't expect it to feel exactly the same as it did yesterday or how it will feel tomorrow. Just honoring where you're at. Feel into your heart, feel into your body. And then follow the breath. Notice how the breath can access these locked or stagnant parts of the body. And then inhale, lengthen your spine. And then exhale, roll your way down into the earth. Shavasana. Allow yourself to stay here for as long as you need. Three, five, ten minutes if you can. Just honoring this time at the end of your practice. And encouraging yourself to have permission to take rest, to fall into your stillness. And as we do, we once again just invite back in that intention. That African proverb and how it reminds us that the hands will always make their way to the mouth, even in the darkness. Even when they can't see, they always know how to feed ourselves. Just as the heart will always know the way and how to nourish and feed the soul. And this is uh, likened to the lotus flower and why the lotus flower is so prominent in the yogic, Hindu and Buddhist texts and philosophies is that they have the same understanding. The lotus flower starts its journey as a, a seed, encaptured, tightly, just waiting for its potential to crack open. And when it does, it cracks out of this dark seed only to be 
or welcomed into more darkness of the soil. And then it decides to make its journey up through the dark soil, through the darkness of the murky water, never really knowing where it's going, just following this innate intuitive beacon inside of itself that guides it through the darkness to eventually emerge at the water surface, blossoming into the light. Take your time to stay here for a few moments more. And I look forward to seeing you. Thank you.